is a very funny comedian. Are you okay with this? Yeah. All right, a very funny comedian. Host of Put Your Hands Together Tuesdays at the UCB Theatre. That's the young hip kids. Yeah, yeah, she's very funny. Do you go and see that stuff? I have seen it. It's very good. Well, introduce her. All right. <laughs> Stop telling me how to do my show, man. <laughs> Please welcome a very funny Cameron Esposito. Yeah! Hey, to meet you. It is so terrific to meet you. You actually don't even know, but you are meeting me on a very important day in my life. Today is the one year anniversary of my moving from Chicago to Los Angeles. So let's hear from that. And I'm doing, this is what I'm doing on that day. So that's not bad. And what's up, mom and dad? Look at me now. You know what I mean? Television. Also, don't stop sending money. Please. <laughs> LA is an interesting city to get used to. There's a lot of uh, different stuff from Chicago, less like sausage, more thin people, real thin. You know, wearing tank tops that are baggy and tight at the same time. Living off a diet of cigarettes and sad dreams. It's a weird city, takes some getting used to, but I also love it, I love it. And it's been a huge year in my life. Not only did I move, I also just recently got engaged. Yeah. Thank you so much. La happened last month, I got engaged. And as you can tell by my haircut, General Danny Zuko attitude, I'm going to be marrying a woman. Yeah, so I'm your hero. I am your hero, I'm doing it for all of us. I can't tell you, you know, I grew up, up, I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago. I can't even tell you how exciting it is for me that I'm gonna be able to be marrying a woman. I can't tell you how excited I am about that, but I also can't tell you how shocking it is to me that that's the person that I am. Like, I grew up in the suburbs. I swear, it was as difficult for me to realize that I was a woman who wanted to date women as I honestly think it would have been for me to realize I was a leprechaun. Like, <laughs> gays, leprechauns, I thought they were mythical creatures for parades. <laughs> Special hats and buckles. I didn't think they were a thing that you could be. And the farty part is, like, I didn't catch on, but I was a little slow on the uptake. It's not like I shouldn't have known. I mean, I love my body, but it is athletic. And I want you to know I came out like this. <laughs> Just ready for rugby right away. You know, throw a girl off my shoulder, I'll run the ball in. Like... <laughs> How many days a week do you guys think a suburban girl should wear a coonskin cap? Because <laughs> if you said zero, I went with seven. <laughs> Seven to eight, still sort of wearing one. <laughs> Technically. I tried, I tried to date men. I think that's another thing people are always like, oh, did you try? I'm like, actually, I've never, thank you for suggesting something I've never thought of. I can't believe you'd bring up something so controversial as me, a woman dating a man. <laughs> so it's always really helpful. I did try. I did try in, in high school. I actually dated the captain of my football team which is amazing because I was the mascot of that football team. <laughs> so I was like a giant red bird. So he would score a touchdown and then I'd flap my little bird arms, the appropriate number of points. And then our high school class voted us couple most likely to live happily ever after. <laughs> which is what happens when you go to a Catholic school also, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love thinking back on that. I love thinking about that voting process and the kids that were like, no, 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 that football player and that bird are gonna make it. <laughs> of course they are. Now I just feel, I feel like I didn't, I also didn't know because like I thought all women, I just thought we all wanted our boyfriends to come over and we would watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer and then they'd go right home. Like I didn't think we wanted to do it. I just thought we wanted to sleep over with our best friends in the bed with them and then put on our boyfriend's football uniform and tackle each other just to see. <laughs> And now I finally figured out who I am and it's such a big win for me. I feel so, I feel so happy, I feel so relieved. You know, like, look at like, just my whole look and the tiny, just I, like, and the hair, the side mullet just really, just everything kind of, you know, coming together and finally my gender is reflected to the world, which, you know, as you can tell, my gender is fighter pilot. <laughs> I just feel so good. I, I, I also know that, you know, it's gonna take some getting used to, the idea of two, two women getting married. So I'll answer some questions that some of you guys might have out there. Um, so what are we gonna wear? You know, people ask that, what, do you, what are we wearing? Uh, two denim dresses. <laughs> I 
Seriously. Mr. Leno, I think you like uh, denim, actually. I think you like denim. <laughs> he's a big denim fan, you know? Cars and denim, that's his thing. Are you saying he's a lesbian? I'm yeah. calling... Listen, I didn't want to be the one to out you, but you don't get that kind of swoop in front, you know what I mean? You know, I married a woman, too. <laughs> oh, God, this couldn't be going better. I love this. Hey, you're dealing with Statler and Waldorf from the Muppets now. No, this is exactly how I want this to go. You know what, later, can I come over and interview you guys? Come on over yeah. right now. Come on oh, over. Come, come on over now. Right now. You know, I think I think I was in her act, and she didn't know I was going to be yeah, here tonight. Right. Actually, actually, I wrote in a, a joke about you having a denim shirt on. Then you, when you walked in tonight, you were wearing a denim shirt. That's I was like, I can keep it. Then you I, changed. I know. I'm sorry. On my late night debut. I'm sorry Mr. about Lana. that. Yeah, no, you were trying to help her out. You actually screwed her up by not wearing denim. Yeah. That's another thing you've done to young comedians. That's you right. bad. <laughs> I feel like I had other punchlines, but uh, this is better. You'll be on TV a lot. I mean, I'm going to get fired. He's already fired. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it's... <laughs> You're the future. You're the future. You're the future, kid. White men are on their way out. They're on That's their toes. Yeah, Lesbians yeah. rule. Yeah. Gino, go for that, Gino. We'll see you later.